This is an example of how to solve a partial trajectory problem where the object is launched above the horizontal. So in our example we have a ball that is kicked at a speed of 15 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees. We have a wall that is 2.5 meters high and they want you to figure out how far away the wall has to be so the ball just clears the wall. Now the issue here is you cannot assume that it, or that it crosses the wall at the highest point where the y velocity is zero. You have to assume that it might be before um, it reaches that point or after it reaches that point. In this case, um, if you saw from the, from the example, it's on its way up, not on its way down. So with any of these types of problems, the first thing you have to do is find your initial x velocity, and that's 15 times the cosine of 35, um, which is 12.3, and the initial y velocity, which is 15 uh, sine of 35, or 8.6. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what the y velocity is as the ball is crossing over uh, 2.5 meters. So um, at this point I know, so I re rearrange the equation for the velocity and then I plug my numbers in so I use my y velocity 8.6 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times 2.5 which is the height of the wall and I get a V of plus or minus 5 meters per second. So plus is when the ball is on the way up and minus is on when the ball is on its way down. Um, in this problem we're assuming that it's on its way up so we're going to use the plus 5 meters per second. From here we're going to figure out how long it takes the ball to go the um, to a height of 2.5 meters and we're going to use V equals V naught plus AT rearrange it, you get t equals v minus v naught over a, plug our numbers in, and we get time is 0.367 seconds. Now that we have the time, we can figure out what the distance is. So you use x equals v naught t plus 1 half at squared, but of course a is 0, so 1 half at squared is 0. So we can figure out the distance, we just add, take our v naught, which is our x um, velocity, which is 12.29, multiply it by the time, and we get a distance of 4.51 meters per second, which is our answer.